Hello everyone, welcome. You probably don't recognize where I am. I'm currently at my best friend Katie's house. Today we are going to a couple of bookstores and just going out and um, having like a nice fun chill day together. So I thought I would vlog and bring you all along with me because I love filming bookstore vlogs and I also have like a bunch of books to haul at the end of this video. But before we get any further into the video, I wanna let you know that today's video is kindly being sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to help you grow your brand or your business. It's a space to engage with your audience, create your own website, or sell your products. So again, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, and we'll get more into them later on in the video. But yeah, I just wanted to film a little come with me to the bookstore vlog and haul so you can see what I've bought recently. I'm just going to bring you along with me on our day today. I'm going to try my best not to buy too many things, but I will make no promises. <laughs> anyway, right now it's like 10.30 in the morning, so um, we're just getting ready to head out and stuff, and then we're going to go get some breakfast and um, head to the bookstore. So I will check in with you guys once we're there. Is that, that can't be you. You've read it like five times. It's a special edition. It's a special edition. <laughs> that means. <laughs> drive-thru which is this like local fast food vegetarian vegan yes. fast food organic chain. sustainable yes cute. and it's like the best the best the best obsessed with it mm -hmm. you know, the best sweet potato fries i've ever had in my life truly it tastes like drugs <laughs> <It's not bad. laughs> in a good way you got food you can't see oh my god you got food amazing job <laughs> got food, veggie mm -hmm. burgers. This Thanks. was a really smart, like coherent <laughs> vlog clip. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go eat it now and then um, I'll show you guys the books that I picked up at the bookstore. Yay. Hello everyone. All right, I'm back home from the bookstore. I bought some books as you can see. We went to Copperfield's Books. I'd never been there before and I loved it. It was two stories. I love a good two-story multi-level bookstore. They're my favorite types of bookstores. And this one was so nice. They had such a big selection of books and a really nice selection of used books as well. Like the whole downstairs section was just used books. And I love used bookstores. So um, yeah, it was a nice mix of both. So I caved and I bought books even though I really shouldn't have bought any because as you will see, like I mentioned, I've bought so many books recently. I shouldn't have bought these but I couldn't resist. <laughs> So I picked up four books at the store and um, I'm really excited to get into these. Some of these are like really obscure, like random things that I would never typically buy. And then some really exciting new releases that I've been um, anticipating and wanting to read. So yeah, it's a nice mix of stuff, I think. First up, I have A Magic Steeped in Poison by Judy I. Lin. I think this just came out like earlier this month in April. It's pretty new and I've heard nothing but good things about this book. I really wanted it, one, because the cover's super pretty, but two, because it's a fantasy book. It's a YA fantasy book, but I've heard the magic system is based in tea 
which I just think is like the coolest concept I've ever heard. So I don't even need to know anything else. I just desperately want to read this. <laughs> so I'm really excited to read this and hopefully I enjoy it. Next up, I picked a really random little book that uh, Katie and I saw and we each got a copy because it just felt like too special and nice to not pick up. And that's The Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows by John Cohing. The title of this just completely drew me in, first of all, but it is quite literally a dictionary of like obscure words. I'm very much the type of person who actually really likes the dictionaries and likes those like word of the day things um so I can just like learn new words all the time. I just like that kind of stuff so I thought that this was really really um interesting and it would be something I would enjoy just like picking up every once in a while. The lighting completely shifted right as I was about to start reading this but for example one of the words in here is poetism, the frustration of being stuck inside your own head, unable to see your face or read your body language in context, only ever guessing how you might be coming across, which makes you think of yourself as a detached observer squinting out at a lushly painted landscape, though to everyone else you seem woven right into the canvas. I honestly thought that this would just be nice to pick up every once in a while and like read a new word in it, but also if you wanted to write I feel like this would be um, something nice to have, just like a little reference to have. So yeah, um, this was very like random and impulsive, not the type of thing I usually buy, but I just feel like this will be a nice thing to have on my shelves and I'll enjoy flipping through it every once in a while. Okay next up I picked up a copy of a book I have already read but I don't own a physical copy of and honestly I bought this because of the cover because it's just so nice. I do like the book but the cover I loved it and it is this beautiful copy of The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. I love this. Look at it. I saw it on the shelf and I was like that's beautiful. What book is that? And then I realized it was The Metamorphosis. I, I couldn't stop myself. It looks so good. The Metamorphosis is actually one of the only classic books I had to read in class that I thoroughly actually enjoyed. I read this in college and I genuinely really liked it. I still think about it every once in a while. But I don't own my own copy of it so I thought it would be nice to have it since I liked the story and I love this cover so it'll be a nice addition to my little classics shelf. I love the look of it. It incorporates the story so well. It's dramatic and like dark and a little creepy, which is perfect for the story. So yeah, uh, I'm really, really glad that I got this. All right, next I actually picked up a collection of poetry that I happened to pick up off the shelf um, while I was literally just filming a vlog clip. I wasn't even paying attention to what I was looking at. And it is a collection of poetry called Let Us Believe in the Beginning of the Cold Season by Fulur Farouksad, um, who is a Persian poet. She was a poet, painter, screenwriter, and filmmaker. And she passed away in like 1967. And I think this is one of the first like translations English translation of like a collection of her works. This was just published in 2022 so it's very new. I was so excited when I saw this because I love Persian poetry but I've never really read much Persian poetry that wasn't like the like older classics like Hafez or like Khayyam or stuff like that. I want to read some more like modern even though this is like definitely older. She would be considered a modern classic poet, I'd assume. Also, the back of the book described her as um, a feminist trailblazer of Iranian literature and as an iconoclastic figure of contemporary world literature. It completely drew me in and I was like, I have to read this. I feel like I really like it. I love poetry, so I'm really glad that I found it and I can't wait to get around to it. Anyway, that's it for the first half of the books that I bought. This isn't even half. This is like barely even an eighth of the books that I bought and the bookstore vlog section of this video. Now we're going to get into to all of the other books that I have bought recently so I can tell you about all of those. So let's get into past Hannah talking about all of the books that she bought because it's a lot. I'm warning you in advance. Okay, so I have so many books to haul in this video. It's kind of absurd. So first up, I have a copy of um, a book that I absolutely adore. I've talked about it countless times, but I never had a physical copy of it. And my friend got me one and she gave it to me recently. And so I'm very happy to have this. And that is The Stationery Shop by Marjan Kamali. This is such a beautiful book. I'm obsessed with the cover. I love the gold foil detail and the hardcover edition. I can't find it online in most places. I was looking for it a while ago um, and the new paperback cover has like a different cover there are like people on it in the background and I don't like it so I'm just really happy to have like the original um, beautiful cover I love this one so much as you all know this is one of my favorite books I read last year so yeah I'm very happy to finally have a copy to add to my collection all right next up I have a book that was um, kindly sent to me by Netflix for the Netflix book club and that is The Viscount Who Loved Me by Julia Quinn this is the second Bridgerton book and the book that season two of Bridgerton is based off of 
Tampa. I haven't talked about this on my channel yet, but I am obsessed, like everybody else, with season two of Bridgerton. It consumed my life. I've rewatched it, I think, three times at this point, and I just, I cannot get enough. And this is coming from someone who hated season one. Like, I could not care less about season one at all, but I loved season two. I just adored it. Kate and Anthony are my everything, um, and I just, I cannot get enough of them. So I'm very excited to read this. I need more of their story. Very grateful to Netflix for sending me this. Thank you so much. And I cannot wait to get around to it. Next, I have a book that I kind of bought on a whim based on a comment that one of you left me on a recent video. I can't remember the video. And based on the way they described it, it sounded so good. So I looked it up and like immediately bought it, <laughs> um, which I don't usually do that. But for some reason, something about this really drew me in. And that book is The Miracles of the Namia General Store. I think they recommended this to me because I liked Before the Coffee Gets Cold, which I'll talk about in a little bit. I think they said that it was somewhat similar and I wanted something in that um, realm with like a slight magical aspect to it. So I feel like this is going to be perfect and I really hope I like it. I don't think I've even read the summary, but the summary says when three delinquents hole up in an abandoned general store after their most recent robbery, to their great surprise, a letter drops through the mail slot in the store's shutter. This seemingly simple request for advice sets the trio on a journey of discovery as over the course of a single night, they step into the role of the kind-hearted former shopkeeper who devoted his waning years to offering thoughtful counsel to his correspondents. Through the lens of time, they share insight with those seeking guidance and by morning, none of their lives will ever be the same. Like it just sounds really, really good and exactly like my type of book. Um, so I'm very excited to read this. So thank you so much. If I can find the comment, I'll leave it on the screen. Um, to the person who recommended this to me, I'm going to read this solely because you recommended it to me um, and because I think it very much is going to be the type of book I will absolutely adore. So speaking of Before the Coffee Gets Cold, I have a copy of Before the Coffee Gets Cold and the sequel Before the Coffee Gets Cold, Tales from the Cafe by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. I read this book fairly recently. I've talked about it a few times in a couple videos and um, I bought the sequel almost immediately after I finished it because I liked this so much. I needed to read the second book. It's just more um, Tales from the Cafe as the title suggests. <laughs> and I actually have like a weird feeling that I might end up liking this one even more than I liked the original. I'm not sure. And I just love the concept of this story so much. This like time traveling coffee shop is just so incredible to me. I don't know why it just makes me so happy and it makes me feel so comforted and so I'm very happy to have these and I can't wait to get to the second book as well. While we're on the topic of translated Japanese fiction I have two more Japanese books. First I have Convenience Store Woman by Saya Kamarada. I have talked about this a couple times in recent videos. I really really loved this book and I had to buy myself a physical copy because I listened to this on audiobook and I wanted to have a copy for my collection. This is the UK cover um, and I really really like it. I actually thought it was going to be blue when I ordered it but I like the pink a lot more actually. So um, yes, I'm very happy to have this. And then the last book in my Japanese translated fiction section of this haul is um, The Housekeeper and the Professor by Yoko Ogawa. This is a book that I saw recommended on Book Talk a couple of times. I don't know if it's that popular on there or if it's just like the few creators I follow were mentioning it. So it was like on my radar and then I saw it um, on sale at a used bookstore for like $4 so I had to buy it. All I know about this book is that it's about this math professor and his housekeeper who like takes care of him and he needs someone to care for him because he has um, brain damage and so he has memory loss. He only remembers things for like a few hours in a day or something like that. I don't know that much about it. I don't really want to know a lot about it. I like going into these things without much knowledge of the actual story and just letting them surprise me. So yeah, I'm excited to try this one out and hopefully I enjoy it. So next I have a couple more translated books. These are not Japanese, um, but the first one is My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante. I was never super interested in reading this series until recently I read this article about Elena Ferrante as an author. All the like secrecy and like anonymity behind her because nobody actually knows who she is. Is, and it just like really intrigued me and um, I just for some reason felt really drawn to this all of a sudden and I was like I want to read that. So I decided to pick up the first book and um, I'm very excited to see how this story goes. All I know about this book is that it follows the story of these two friends and um, their lives over the span of I think like several decades and it's just about their relationship and their own individual lives and so it sounds like the type of thing that I would like. So I'm very very intrigued by this and excited to try it out. Okay the next section of of this video is going to be all of the manga that I bought recently um, because I bought a ton of manga. I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly. It's just a lot, so let's just get into them. First and foremost, probably the one I am most excited about because it finally completed my collection. I finally got 
volume seven of Fruits Basket. I was missing this for so long and you all were so kind because multiple people messaged me when they saw that it was in stock on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. So thank you very much for informing me. Um, it made my day, it made me so happy and I bought it immediately. <laughs> and so now I finally have it and I finally have the complete Fruits Basket collection. I have all volumes one through 12 and I'm so happy now I can finally sit down and just binge them all back to back to back. Next up, I got volumes 31 through 34 of Yona of the Dawn. I've talked about this series multiple times now um, in recent videos. It is one of my favorite anime series of all time, one of my favorite manga series of all time. I'm currently on volume 11, I think. Um, I haven't made much progress recently because I've been reading so many other things for other videos. So I will get back to them very soon, but I am now, I think, all caught up. I think volume 35 just came out so I'm pretty much all caught up um, with the volumes that are available and in stock because so many of them are still out of stock but I'll get those eventually. A lot of these manga purchases were um, intended to like help me complete some of my collections and this next one I bought for that reason and that is volume three of Your Name. I have volumes one and two. I was missing volume three. Had to pick it up talked about this countless times. This is like my favorite anime film of all time. I'm very excited to finally have all three volumes so I can read the manga as well. Okay, next up I have the first two volumes in a new series that I started and I'm really, really loving this series so far and that is Blue Flag. So I have volumes one and two. Um, I have already read volumes three and four as well, but I don't own physical copies of them. I read them digitally, but I need to buy those. I just haven't been able to find them. They haven't been in stock in most places. But I really like this series so far. I'm really enjoying it and I'm excited to see where the rest of the story goes. I think it's eight volumes in total, so it's not super long or anything. It's um, a high school setting and it's about friendship and relationships and like growing up and love and the line between what platonic and romantic love is. That's one of my favorite aspects of this story. I like any story that explores that concept. So um, yeah, I've been very much enjoying this and I'm excited to um, read the rest of the series as well. And hopefully this will end up becoming a favorite because I can definitely see it becoming that. I do have one more manga series that I'm going to mention, but um, before I mention that, I do want to mention a graphic novel series that I bought recently that I've talked about. So really quick, just get into this. I bought all four volumes, of course, of Heartstopper. <laughs> and now that I'm thinking about it, that I just mentioned Blue Flag, if you like Heartstopper, you should definitely read Blue Flag because it feels really similar to me. If you're really into this series, um, I highly recommend reading Blue Flag. They're very similar thematically. But yes, Heartstopper, love this series. I cannot wait for the TV show. I think by the time this is up, the show will have just come out. So yeah, I will be watching that and enjoying it and um, probably crying. <laughs> and then the final manga series that I bought was Orange, um, the complete collection. I bought volumes one, two, and the future collection. I watched this entire anime um, last month, I want to say, and I really liked it. I didn't think I was going to like it that much, but I ended up really enjoying enjoying it. And so I had to buy the manga as well because now I have to read it. The story heavily revolves around suicide, so be aware of that if you do decide to watch it or read it. It's very sad, but it is also very, very good. It's another story about friendship and relationships and love, both platonic and romantic. And as you can tell, that's very much my type of thing. So I really, really enjoyed the um, anime, so I cannot wait to binge all of these. All right, next up, I have a series that was kindly sent to me by um, Simon & Schuster, so thank you to them. Um, but that series is The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy by Jenny Han. I read these a while ago. I want to say like three, four years ago or something. Actually, honestly, I can't even remember if I read the last one or not. I know I for sure read the first two, and I don't remember if I read the last one. It's been too long, but I did actually really like them, and I didn't expect to like them. But to be honest with you, I don't remember anything that happened in this series. The series is getting an adaptation, which is really exciting, so I definitely do plan to watch that, and I might re read the books before or after I watched that. But yeah, like I said, I don't remember much about it because it's been so long, but I do remember actually surprisingly really enjoying this, um, despite the fact that I didn't think it was going to be something I'd like. So yeah, I'm excited to try out the show and hopefully I end up really enjoying it. The next book I have here is one I have talked about a couple times recently as well, and that is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I looked through like several different editions to order, but I really liked this edition. I am thinking of also getting the like penguin cloth bound edition as well, because I really like those. And they're really pretty, um, but I'm terrified that if I get one of them, I'm gonna wanna start collecting all of them and then it's gonna become like this whole thing and then I'm gonna
gonna have way too many of them, even for books that I don't care about. But that's just me and my too much gene. But I did really like this edition as well. I thought the cover design was really nice. I think this is the Legend Classics edition. But yeah, I really loved this book, so I'm really excited to have a copy for my shelves now. Okay, next up I picked up a um, recent release that I am very excited to finally get around to, and that is Gallant by V.E. Schwab. As you all know, V.E. Schwab is one of my favorite authors of all time, and um, despite the fact that I wasn't the biggest fan of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, I still will read like everything that she writes. And so I was very excited for the release of Gallant. I honestly don't know what this book is about. I don't want to know what it's about. I'm not even going to read the summary. I'm just going to read it and be completely surprised because that is the way that I read all of her books. I do have a feeling that I will really enjoy this. Like I said, I usually really love her books. Some of them I like a little bit less than others, but for the most part, I'm a huge fan of like everything she writes. So yeah, very excited to get around to this. Next up, I have another recent release by a favorite author that I'm very excited to get to, and that is All My Rage by Saba Tahir. Saba Tahir is the author of the Ember in the Ashes series, which is one of my all-time favorite fantasy series. So when I found out she was releasing a contemporary novel, I knew I had to get it. I got this immediately the day that it came out because I need to read this. I really don't know anything about this book. I'm sorry, I'm not even going to read you the summary because I don't want to know anything about it. I really just want to go into it and be surprised. I just know that it's a contemporary novel and I just know it's going to be heartfelt and emotional and something that I will 99% absolutely love. There's really no doubt in my mind. I know that I'm going to like this. Okay, and the next up, I have a book that I am so unbelievably excited and just grateful to finally have because I wanted this for so long, but I did not want to spend like $100 on it uh, because I don't want to spend that much money on any single book but I was so lucky and I found a listing for this for $30. I don't know how. I thought it was going to be fake. I thought someone was scamming me but I was not scammed. It's the real thing and that is the Waterstones exclusive edition of Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. I can't believe I actually have this and that I'm actually holding it in my hands. I've wanted this for so long. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's in perfect condition. I really want Chain of Gold in this edition as well, but I am not about to spend two to three hundred dollars on that. It's just not happening. <laughs> so I'm fine with just sticking with this for now. Um, I'm happy with it and I will definitely be ordering the Chain of Thorns version because I don't want to have to deal with this whole situation again of just not having it and then seeing it listed for hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Hello, future Hannah here again. Um, before we get into the last few books, I want to once again thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Like I mentioned, Squarespace is a platform to create a website, grow your business, and engage with your audience. They have so many different features that you can use. One of my favorites is definitely their blogging tools. So if you'd like to start up a newsletter or a blog, Squarespace would make that incredibly easy and accessible because you could share photos, videos, all kinds of content updates, and also schedule all of your posts. So it makes it super easy and streamlined to use. They also have email campaigns campaigns, which is perfect if you are trying to start up a newsletter because it allows you to completely customize it to you or your business or brand. You're also able to connect all of your social media accounts so that they can all be directly translated onto your website as well. So they're all found in one place and it's super easy to access for your audience. So if you're interested in trying out Squarespace for yourself, go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And once you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash a clockwork reader to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I will leave that link and code in the description box. So be sure to check them out there. But again, thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And without any further ado, let's get into the rest of my book haul. Next up, I have another book that is a somewhat recent re-release, I guess, um, and a book I also read recently, and that is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. I'm not really gonna get into my thoughts on the book um, here because I will be talking about it in a future video, but I did read this recently and I will just say I did enjoy it. So I'm very happy to have a copy of it. I'm excited for the sequel as well. But actually before I even read this and ordered this, I did order a different different book by the same author, which was Alone With You in the Ether. Um, and I literally ordered this because I read one quote and then I just, I had to buy it. I don't usually do that because it that's just not a good reason to buy books because half the time that one quote is better than the entire book and like, it's just not worth your time. I did the same thing when I read You've Reached Sam. I read the book because I read one quote and I was like, this sounds so good. And then I just didn't really care about the book. So hopefully I do actually end up really liking this. I do have a feeling that I will because I do like her writing based on reading the Atlas Six. But yeah, making those impulse purchases based on one quote you see on TikTok is not a good idea. Do not recommend it. However, sometimes it could work. 
So hopefully this is a situation in which it does. Then the next two books I have are books that I um, read in my five books I read to see if I could become that girl video. And these were the two that I really liked in that video. So I ended up buying myself physical copies of them. And the first one is Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. Yes, if you have not watched that video, Sally Rooney did have some redemption in my eyes um, after reading Normal People and disliking that book. I did finally like one of her books and I actually really loved Conversations with Friends. So I knew I had to get myself a copy but I did talk about it much more in that video, so if you're interested in my thoughts, you can go hear them there. I honestly think it's something I will probably reread multiple times. Okay, and then finally, the very last book that I bought recently was My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. This is another book that I read in my That Girl video, and I just, I loved this. It's hard to say I loved it because, like, it was a really, really difficult book to read. I definitely recommend you check the content warnings if you do decide to read this because it's very, very graphic. It is about a 15-year-old girl being groomed by a 40 something year old teacher and it's it's not easy to read but it's honestly like truly one of the most important books I think I've read um I talk about it a lot more in that video as well if you want to go and hear my thoughts but I just needed to get myself a copy because I know I'm gonna mark this up like crazy because it just really stuck with me and I needed it for my collection but there you all have it those are all of the books that I have bought recently I know this was ridiculous it was a lot um I cannot keep doing this throughout the entire year I need to control myself a little bit but but what can you do? If you've read any of the books that I mentioned in this haul, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media and keep up with what I'm reading or anything else I'm doing, all my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!